What's up YouTube, this is Robo Vapes and today we're taking a retro look and review of the Aspire Triton Mini. So as I mentioned in the Sunday supplement, I was looking for a new mouth to lung tank and I was doing the uh, usual rounds looking on the net. Uh, come across quite a few ones I was going for, but then I come across this, the Aspire Triton Mini. Got it for about 16 quid off uh, Amazon with a pack of five 1.8 Nautilus coils, because obviously this does support Nautilus coils. So about £25 for a decent mouth to lung tank and about a good five coils, plus the one that's included in the box as well. So that brings it up to about seven. And we're going to get into this review now, so we're going to dive down and check what you get in the packaging. So folks, let's get into the packaging then. Obviously we've got the tank itself, which has got a nice little lovely black finish to it. The top cap is a screw on, and that's how you fill your juice. I'll show you that um, up when we go back up top, as it's a bit hard to make out uh, using the camera. Obviously you've got your spare glass, spare 2 mil glass. And you've got a nice 1.2 ohm coil. Hopefully the camera focuses. Yep. Do you just make it out? Hopefully it uh, focuses now. You can just make out 1.2 ohm. Up to 20 watts. 15 to 20 watts. And you know, so you've got your cotton and the wire down on the bottom. So we'll take the, go back to the tank. Obviously there is juice already in it. I've pre-filled this. Obviously if yours turns up with juice in it, send it straight back. Obviously you've got a little symbol there pointing down to the arrow to mean the air holes are closed up and it's ready to vape. And obviously you've got another symbol there letting you know that the air holes are open for you to fill it up. Obviously you, ins you unscrew the top cap to access those holes to fill it up. And obviously at the bottom you've got your 510. Right, that was the uh, quick unboxing. Not much in the packaging other than that. Let's go back up and I'll, I'll let you know what I'll think of it. And that was the unboxing, folks. Now onto the actual tank itself. Like I said, this is a very old tank now. It came out about a couple of years ago now. Um, way before the TPD come out. And this did come out at the time as a 2 mil tank. So this will be TPD compliant. The actual device itself, I think, is still very competitive in today's market. I prefer this style over a lot of the mouth to lung tanks that are out there today. I mean, as much as I love the Aspire Pockex, the one problem I have with that, and especially if it's going to be a problem for you new vapors out there, is they've got a system, and I think the I'm sure the Nautilus 2 has the same system where you don't fill the juice all the way up to the top. You fill it to a certain level, then you put the coil in, which then obviously pushes the, the the juice up to the tank to make it two mil. I don't know how that works, to be honest. Whereas this, the, the coil is already in, so all you do is fill it up to the top. This is a two mil tank, and it's a very simple tank to use. Obviously, if you can just make out on that little, if you can just make out there's a little symbol, like a little juice symbol, Obviously, you turn the top, and there's a little arrow that points down to that. That means the air holes are open to the top for you to, to stick your juice bottle in and then fill it up. <laughs> Obviously, to get at that, you unscrew the top of the tank, uh, which then brings it off. And then basically, you uh, and then as soon as you filled it up, you turn the dial, and you should, if you could just make it out, there's a little symbol as well to let you know that it's all closed off and it's ready to vape very very simple to use tank the coils are very good currently got the 1.8 ohm coil in here at 20 watts uh the airflow i've got it almost closed off with just a little bit of a uh, gap left open for a bit of air and i'll show you what it's like now very very nice enjoyable if i open the air holes up completely so fully open, you'll see how good this is. I 
absolutely lovely flavour. I've got it with a British tobacco, which is my all-day mouth-to-lung tank vape juice. Would I still recommend someone to go and buy this, considering how old it is? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'd probably recommend you go and buy this over a lot of the mouth-to-lung tanks that are out there today. 16 quid. And then basically you've got the Nautilus coils that just I think they're going to be out there for years and years and years. And they're like cheap. I mean, like I said, pack of five coils was 10 quid, just under 10 quid. So 25 quid for a tank and a pack of five coils. Can't complain. I mean, most, I think the Nautilus 2 is probably, what, 20 odd quid on its own. The Nautilus X is about 20 odd quid. I would still recommend you go and buy this. Uh, I think it is a very, very good good tank. Very nice mouth to long tank. It's going to be very simple for you uh, smokers that are moving over to the vape inside of things. Uh, especially if you get some nice cheap juice, like, like the uh, British Tobacco from OnePoundLiquid.com, that you're going to be flying. This uh, The only thing I would say, I mean, compared to the Beyond Vape Silo, which is obviously using the older Nautilus coils in it, I've noticed the eye power is draining a bit of battery life but i think it's because i've got it at 20 watts but i definitely think this could probably go over 20 watts uh but 20 watts is where i like to keep it i think it's you, you don't need to go far because i don't know this does plow through juice that is one con about this tank it does plow through juice i have had to fill this up quite a lot since using it so that is the one con i'd say but i think that's because this can support high vg juice i've not used it with high vg juice i've used it purely with like your 50 50 mixes uh, mouth to lung sort of style juice but other than that i still would recommend this and that is going to be my review of the nautilus uh nautilus the triton mini from aspire robert vapes out thanks for watching